Hello, and welcome to the TechnoFarm, your one-stop destination for technology. I am your tech boss, Private. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Kindly click the bell icon to get notification for my future posts. It's the people's choice. Yes, it's number one. Hello all, this is your tech boss Pradeep and today we will be discussing about an interesting feature of Android. Nowadays, it is a part of our daily life that we transfer files from our PC to phone or vice versa. For this reason, we must need USB cable. So it is a common problem in many of the devices that after some months, maybe one year or so, we break our USB cable or we break the USB port. And if you go to the service center to repair your USB port, they will say, No sir, we can't do that. You'll have to change your motherboard. You cannot change your USB port. So, if you have a phone costs 7000 Indian rupees, you'll have to change your motherboard and that costs around 6000 rupees. Uh-uh, very cost effective, isn't it? So today, I will give you the tricks so that you can connect your mobile to your PC wirelessly without any need of your USB cable. You can copy files from your PC to mobile, from your mobile to PC without any problem. Your USB cable will not break. The USB port of your mobile will not break. Only you'll have to charge your mobile using your USB port. So without much talk, let's start the journey. So for this, you need a type of application it is called FTP server. Yes, FTP server. And there are plenty of them. Even in some file managers, you will get the FTP server maybe as an additional plugin, maybe in build. So today, I will discuss about such two applications. One is an additional plugin of Solid Explorer Pro. And another one is a standalone application. It's called Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. And it costs only 10 Indian rupees. Very cheap, isn't it? Basically, this technology uses the Wi Fi platform to transfer files between our PC and mobile. Nowadays, all the Android phones come with Wi Fi technology, I believe. But the question is okay, I don't have any Wi Fi in my desktop, I have only Wi Fi in my laptop, so what I do? Okay, so you may not have Wi-Fi dongle in your desktop, but you probably have a broadband connection and you have connected your PC to your router using an Ethernet cable. Okay, so basically you are connected to the network. If your PC and your phone both are connected to the same network, you can transfer. And same is applicable for laptop also. That means, for example, your laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi you have a broadband, you have a router, Wi-Fi router, and your mobile is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, then you can transfer things. But even if you don't have a broadband connection and your laptop has Wi-Fi facilities, you can create a hotspot in your laptop and you can tether it with your mobile. So it's not a big deal. The main thing you need to remember that your mobile and PC or laptop should be connected to the same network otherwise you cannot able to transfer and before you ask no it doesn't use your internet data so without further delay let's open wi-fi pro ftp server wi-fi pro ftp server i open this wi-fi pro ftp server let's take an overview what's there in the screen okay i'm swiping from left to right wi-fi pro ftp server settings here's the settings button rate this app here's the button to rate this app Wi-Fi status. Now here is the Wi-Fi status, okay? Enabled. Wi-Fi is enabled in my case. IP address. Here is the IP address. 192.168.31.252. And this IP address will be automatically created for you, so don't worry about that. Network. Here is the network name. Dangerous. Dangerous. This is the name of my network. I don't know whether it's very dangerous or not, okay? Start button. And here is the start button. But we will not start now. So let's go to the settings window now. Settings. Settings. Okay, here is the settings window. Settings. Port number. Port number to start FTP server. Here is the port number. Okay, and you can assign your own port number. I'll see what is given there. Port number. Showing number key. 
Cancel button. Editing 2221. Edit box. It is 2221. This is a port number. I can also change it if I want, but I will keep it as it is. So let's press the OK button. OK button. Keyboard hidden. Settings. Let's see what's there. Settings. Anonymous access. Allow anonymous access to FTP server. Check. Checkbox. OK, so here is the anonymous access. So if you turn it on, that means you don't need a password to connect your phone to the PC. In my case, I prefer that. But you can also prefer the opposite. You can give a password. So whenever you try to connect your mobile to your PC, it will ask for a password. And you can also tell your PC to remember the password. So it's on you. In my case, my Wi-Fi is very much secured. So I don't need this extra security for now. User ID. User ID for FTP server access. User ID. Obviously, if you turn off that anonymous access you must need an user id for that i have turned it on so i don't need an user id password password for ftp server access as the name suggests if you turn off that anonymous access you need a password to connect to your pc and you can give your password here use ftps use secure ftp over tlssl not check checkbox secure ftp so you can turn it on if you wish i am not turning it on right now SSL mode, type of SSL connection to use. Okay, if you turn on secure FTP, you can choose which type of SSL mode you would like to use. There are some, I'll see that. SSL mode, SSL, check, implicit, explicit, cancel, button. Okay, here is implicit and explicit. I will set it to implicit for now because I have even not turned on that secure FTP thing. Press the back button here. Settings. And see what else is there. Root folder, folder to be shared via FTP. Okay, here's the thing, root folder. It is very important for us. You can set a root folder so that your PC can access it. And in this case, you have a limitation. When you connect your phone via USB, if you have external SD card, for example, you'll get two options when you explore your phone from your PC. So you will get internal storage, you'll get external storage. But in this case, you'll have to choose either one. You can either choose internal storage or external storage. You cannot choose both. Not only that, if you feel that there is a folder called My Stuff in your external storage, so you can only view the My Stuff folder from your PC, you can do that as well. So I will set my root folder to my external SD card so that if I open my phone from my PC using this FTP server, I will get all the things which are there in the SD card. Okay, so I'll double tap on it. Root folder. Root folder, okay, fine. Root folder. Check. SD card. SD card is checked. Slash. Photos. Movies. Custom folder. Cancel button. These things are there. So I will choose custom folder. Custom folder. Recent. Showing items 1 to 2 of 2. Now I get a standard file browsing dialog and I'll have to browse my SD card because I want my root folder to be the SD card. Okay. So let's browse it. Show roots. Button. Recent. Sort by. Disabled. More options. Button. Card one. Here is the SD card one, which is my external SD card. Card one backup. And other stuff like this. But if you don't find your SD card here, you can just press the show root button. Show roots button. Menu. Okay, I have double tapped on show root button, and there is a menu. Okay, let's browse it. Open from. Open from. Recent. Documents. Redmi Note 3, 15.96 gigabytes free. Here it is saying Redmi Note 3, which is basically my internal storage. Card one, 10.96 gigabytes free. And here is the SD card 1. I double tap here. Card 1. Okay, my SD card 1 is now open. So, I can select this SD card. Select button. I press the select button. Settings. Okay, I come back again to the settings window. Okay, let's see what's next. Read only. Makes FTP shared folder read only to client. Not check. Checkbox. So, you can make it read only also so that you cannot delete the things or modify the things from your PC. Okay, I don't want to do that. Theme. Select light or dark theme. Showing items 2 to 9 of 9. You can select your own theme. Okay, that's the end of the settings. So I have properly configured the Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. Okay, I pressed the back button. And now I'll start it. Start button. Allow Wi-Fi Pro FTP server to access photos, media, and files on your device. Okay, it asks my permission. I'll obviously allow this. Allow button. Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. Okay, now I believe it has been started. Let's see what is now showing in the main window. Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. Settings. Rate this app. 
Wi-Fi status. Enabled. IP address. 192.168.31.252. Okay, these are common. Network. Dangerous. Stop button. Now here is a stop button. Okay, because it is already started. And if I swipe again. Server URL. Server URL, which is very, very, very important. FTP colon slash slash 192.168.31.252 colon So this is the URL left to use when you try to connect your mobile to your PC. So just remember the URL or write it down somewhere. I will also show you how to create a network shortcut in your PC so that you don't have to remember your FTP URL. Okay, let's see is there anything else. User ID. So here is the user ID if you need that. I don't need that because I have turned on that anonymous access. But still, what is there? Let's see. Android. Android is the user ID. Password. Password. Android. Android is the password. Anonymous access. Anonymous access. Enabled. Enabled. Yes, I have enabled that. Root folder. Root folder. Custom folder. Custom folder. So that's all we can do from here. And now I'll show you how to access the files of your mobile from your PC. So now I am on my PC. I'll open my desktop now. Windows D, folder view list view. This PC, 1 of 25. I am now on this PC. So I'll press the application key here. Applications, context menu. O, open. O, pin to quick access. Manage, G, pin to start. P, map network drive dot dot dot. N. Map network drive dot dot dot. Okay, hit enter here. Enter, leaving menus. Folder view list view. This PC, 1 of 25. Map network drive. Folder colon edit combo. Alt plus O. Folder colon edit combo. Okay, I'll just press tab until I'll have to change anything. Browse dot 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 button. Alt plus B. Reconnect to sign dash and checkbox check. Alt plus R. I will just keep it default. Connect using different credentials checkbox not check. Alt plus E. Connect to a website that you can use to store your documents and pictures link. Connect to our website to store your documents and pictures link. Okay, I'll press space bar here. Space. Add network location. Next button. Alt plus N. Two buttons are there. The next button and the cancel button. I'll route my JAWS cursor to my PC. JAWS to PC. Okay, I'll turn the JAWS speed down a little bit so that you can understand it pretty well. Slower, 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 slower. Okay, so let's read the dialogue, what it says. Ad network location. Welcome to the ad network location wizard. This wizard helps you sign up for a service that offers online storage space. You can use this space to store, organize, and share your documents and pictures using only a web browser and internet connection. You can also use this wizard to create a shortcut to a website, an FTP site, or other network location. Next button, cancel button. Okay, I press the PC cursor. PC. So we have got the information. Press the next button now. Next button to activate space. Where do you want to create this network location? List view, choose a custom network location. Specify the address of the website, network location, or FTP site one of one. Okay, I have only one option there. So I'll surely choose a custom location because I have to type my FTP address, the FTP URL, which I have got in my phone in that Wi-Fi Pro FTP server application. So I just press the next button. Next button, up space. Internet or network address colon edit combo. Alt plus a. Internet or network address colon edit combo. Here I'll have to type my FTP URL from that application. Okay. So let's see what is there. Turn on the mobile. Server URL. Server URL. FTP colon slash slash 192.168.31.252 colon I'll have to type this URL here. I set my navigation to character. F T P colon slash slash 192 period 168. Period. Let's type this one first. FTP colon slash slash one nine two period one six eight period. Okay, see what else is there. Three one period two five two three one period two five two. So at the end there will be the port number. Colon two 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 one. Okay, colon two 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 one, which is my port number. Colon two 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 one. Okay, so default. Set my navigation to default again. So I have successfully typed the URL. Let's see. FTP colon slash slash 192.168.31.252.2221. So press tab. Browse dot 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 button. Alt plus R. Browse. I'll not do that. View examples link. View example. I don't need any example. Next button. Alt plus N. Okay. Press next button. Space. Log on anonymously checkbox check. Alt plus R. A log on anonymously checkbox checked. It is checked by default. And in my case, I have logged on anonymously from my phone. So I'll keep that checked. So in your case, if you try to be much more secure and if you turn off that anonymous access, you should uncheck that here. And if you uncheck that here, you'll have to give your user ID and password. So in my case, I have logged on as anonymous. So I'll keep that checked. Next button. Alt plus N. Press the next button. Space. Type a name for this network location colon edit. 192.168.31.252. Alt plus T. 
it asks me the name for my network location okay i'll give something meaningful i'll delete that blank i will name it as my mobile M -Y space M -O -B -I -L -E. okay so press the next button here next button up space my mobile link now this is the final window open this network location when i click finish checkbox checked alt plus o okay it is checked finish button alt plus f finish button fine space file explorer Items view list box read only. Items view multi select list box. Not selected Android. File folder 11 slash 20 slash 2016 530 AM 11 slash 20 slash 2016 530 AM 11 slash 20 slash 2016 530 AM. One of one. Not selected Android. Okay, so now I have got the folder and files which are stored in my SD card and I have not connected any kind of USB cable. So I'll just change my view settings to details. Name slip view modes. View modes details radio button. Details radio button check. Items view not selected Android. Okay, you'll see Android. Backup. Bluetooth, DCI, Essential App, Lost Dot Movies, Music, Oreo, Others, Recordings, etc. etc. And these are the folders of my mobile. Okay? If I close this now by pressing Alt plus F4, Alt F4, Map Network Drive, connect to a website that you can use to store your documents and pictures link. I also close this one. Alt F4, Desktop, Folder View, List View, This PC, 1 of 25. Okay? If I now open this PC, Enter. This PC, items view multi select list box, devices and drives expanded, not selected windows left parent C colon right parent, local disk, one of six. I'll just press down arrow to show you how it works. Temp left parent D colon right parent, softwares and data left parent music and video, project left parent, pin to left parent H colon, network locations expanded, network locations left parent to right parent row header expanded. Okay, here is my network location, I have two. My mobile. And here is my mobile. So if I press enter here, enter. My mobile. Items view multi select list box. Not selected Android. Android. 1 of 27. So I have got all the files and folders of my SD card here. So if I want to copy something from here. And support.mp3. Okay. So I just copy this file. Support. Press Ctrl plus C. Copied. Open this PC again. Windows E. This PC. Item. Temp left parent D colon right parent. Go to the temp drive. Enter. This PC. Items. Press Ctrl plus V. Paste it. Support.mp3. So it is there. No problem. So if I want to do the vice versa, that means I want to copy something from my PC to the mobile, I can do the same thing. Vocal fry speaking with faithsaley.mp3. So if I just want to copy this one to my phone, I just press Ctrl C. Copied. I press Alt Tab. My mobile. My mobile. Here's my mobile. I can press Ctrl plus V. Pasted. And it is there. And vocal fry speaking with faithsaley.mp3. So it's pretty easy to do. And as I have created the network shortcut, I don't have to remember my FTP address or the server URL of my mobile. So in the next time when I turn on my PC, I can find my mobile in my PC or in this PC, okay? And in future, if I don't want to transfer anything, I can just stop this. I can just press the stop button here in the Wi-Fi Pro FTP server. Stop button. Stop button. So that is the deal. Just very quickly, I'll show the add-on which comes with Solid Explorer Pro which you can also use. Home. I open Solid Explorer Pro. Solid Explorer. Dock. Nova Launcher. Solid Explorer. Android. So now I'll have to press the menu button, which is located at the top left corner. Menu. Button. So now I'll have to scroll up a little bit because the FTP server is the last option here. FTP server. FTP server. FTP server. Okay, so here you'll get the similar options. Information. Network status. Connected. SSID. Dangerous. Username. Anonymous. Home directory. Storage slash 9016 4 ef 8 Server status. Inactive. Server address. FTP colon slash slash 192.168.3 Start button. Here you also get the start button. So it's very easy. You can do it in any application which supports the FTP server protocol. So use FTP server and save the life of your USB port. That is the end of this podcast. I hope it helps you a little bit. So if you don't want to miss my future podcast, you can just press the subscribe button. And if you like to show some appreciations, just like this video. Okay, until next time, goodbye.